Secretary for that position and being grade two as in the grading structure of the company, the organo structure, that job uh, has a gross salary of about 200,000 shillings. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Witness, uh, how long have you been serving with the Kewasco, number one, number two? When you had a conversation with the Deputy Governor, how long have you known the Deputy Governor? Number three, you said you had a Fulisa, and when Mpesa came to your for us, I know you might not be the agent of Safaricom, but for us, when you have taken Fulisa, when I send you money, automatically they tax the money I have sent you, for example. Does that not mean utilization of the funds? And finally, Madam Speaker, um, does any of the county government official sit as an ex officio member of uh, of Gusi Water Sanitation and Company Kawasko, either from Nyamira County Government or from Kisi County Government. I thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Question one: uh, I've been the uh, I've been the MD of Gusi Water for the last one and a half years, having started from first September 2022. Number two. Madam Speaker, on the use of the uh, Fuliza, if you look at the time the money came, my account balance had 1,000. At the time of entry, that is 100,000, I had a balance of 101. The following day, when I sent the 5,000, a difference of less than 20 minutes had already uh, gotten money from my bulk uh, equity account and deposited 5,000. So it doesn't mean utilization of the funds that I'd received. Number three, in terms of uh, ex officio, the board members, I said they are comprised of uh, 10 board members, five who are independent, Madam Speaker, having been competitively recruited, and five who are ex officio. The five who are ex officio, in this case, we have the CECM, Water and Finance, for both counties, that is Nyamira and Kisi County, meaning that we have two from each and every county sitting as board members of the company. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Asige Kedehu, please come. Thank, thank you very much, Speaker. To the witness, my questions are as follows. When was the meeting um, that you mentioned you had with the DG where he uh, proposed um, supporting his candidate, his preferred candidate. Next, when were the successful candidates informed in this recruitment process? And to the counsel for the deputy governor, you mentioned that um, there might have been an attempt to reverse. Do you have any evidence of the same from Safaricom with the DG's uh, reversal attempts? And also, what you, you um, made a point um, to direct senators to the 8th of February statement by the witness where she spoke of a silence that was had on the phone. What exactly do you want us as honorable senators to interpret the silence as being, um, uh, noting what silence means in a court of law? Also, um, the counsel from the DG, lastly, speaker, uh, spoke of um, there might be Senator, have been an error. Senator, there might have been an error. I just wanted them to um, kindly Senator, Senator let us know what the phone it. numbers for Lucy and Gladys were, just so we can see how close the two phone numbers are. Um, to uh, Sen Senator Asige, you are overloading that witness with a bulk of questions. If you could let him answer, I feel it would be reasonable. Thank you. Uh, Madam Speaker, question one. 
on when we had the conversation with the deputy governor. That was after 28th, the following week. That was on Thursday, around 4th May 2023. Second question, when the communication was supposed to be done of the candidates who, had, uh, uh, who were successful, we did that communication on 2nd of June, 2023. Senator Mutinda Sabida. So, Katwa Kigen, I believe there is a question that was directed at yourself or your colleague. Uh, Honorable Senators, uh, the instructions I have is that ordinarily when you make an attempt at reversal, it doesn't show on your MPESA. So in terms of uh, document we can show for the attempt to reverse, we, uh, we, we do not have that. <clears throat> on the question of silence as captured in the letter, in the statement uh, of 8th of February, our position that whereas the witness said she, the deputy governor kept quiet, in our affidavit in response to that contention, we said indeed the deputy governor did not keep quiet, but informed the witness that that money was meant to have been sent to somebody by the name Gladys, Gladys Wanga, uh, Gladys Aminga, sorry, Gladys Aminga, and that it was a mistake to have been sent to uh, Lucy, it was intended for Gladys, and in our bundle we have shown how we have saved the two names next to each other, uh, and which led to that mistake. I, I hope I have answered the question. Senator Tabila, Tasifuna, your chance is coming, so hold it. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, just very brief questions. For how long have you known the DG and how has your work relation been with him since you've been the MD for the last one and a half years in the institution that you work? And uh, secondly, in both your statement and your affidavit, you have a key word named approached. Would you state before this Senate when you say, Robert Monda approached me saying, what, how was the approach? Was it physical? Was it a phone call? Was it an email? How was the mode of the approach that you stated? When you sent the money back to Mr. Monda, what was his response? And when he approached you for a request of a candidate, what was your response to him? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, thank you. One, I've known uh, His Excellency Dr. Robert Monda from the time they got into office, that is from August 2022. Relationship in, uh, in the workplace, it has been a positive relationship because he is a stakeholder, the county governments are shareholders in which we have had good relationships with the county governments which he serves as the deputy governor. So the relationship and the support that we have been receiving from the company shows that we've been having a positive or a good working relationship. Question number three. Madam Speaker, in line with the, the, the word approach, on 4th May 2023, it was a Thursday, he called me and summoned me to his office, which I visited at, the, at Gusi Stadium, went to his office, and that is when he told me he has an interest in one of the adverts that he had seen in the daily newspaper. And after that, I told him if the, if the candidate that he had qualifies, he will surely be able to get the job because it is purely based on merit and qualifications. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Enoch. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, just two questions, uh, quick ones. Um, 
Madam Lucy, um, did you have any other <coughs> cash transactions with the Deputy Governor before 20, that you dealt money with him before you received this m from his account? And secondly, when you called him on 29th about the money that you received on 28th, did he tell you explicitly that this money was meant to influence your decision on the job in question? I thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, thank you. Uh, when he called uh, when, uh, on 29th, when I called the deputy, speak, uh, the, the deputy governor, he told me, remember the case that I had told you about in terms of assisting my candidate to get a job as a commercial manager. And I told him, there is no need of sending money because the criteria is purely based on merit. Kaidri reverse the money. Thank you, Madam Speaker. First question. Sorry? Did you answer the first question? Uh, sorry, Madam Speaker, maybe Repeat I didn't catch that up. The first question was, did you have any cash transactions, any cash business between yourself and the DG before 28th when you received money through M-Pesa from him? Thank you, Madam Speaker. We have never had any cash transaction between, my, between me and the Deputy Governor. Not in cash, not in my M-Pesa. Uh, Senator Mulgo, do you still want to raise any question? Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I have two questions uh, to the uh, witness. One is, what did you see on your message? Did you see 100,000 or did you see a name with it? such that you are comfortable overnight with the money and not uncomfortable such that you would, uh, you know, seek as to who's, uh, who is the sender and probably send it back. So um, what made you comfortable to just have it with you overnight? Then my second question is, uh, what influence do you have over the board such that uh, the deputy governor would uh, seek your help to be able to help him position this applicant? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, question number one. Uh, in line with uh, what influence being a board member, I'm the managing director of the company, I would probably think that he felt that I could be able to influence because by virtue of the office that I hold as a managing director and I sit in the board, he felt that maybe I could be able to influence. It is by virtue of the position that I hold. Question number two, Madam Speaker, the comfort in which I stayed with the money at night. I've clearly stated, Madam Speaker, the money was paid, sent to me at 21.34. It was a Sunday at night. And this is my boss in the county, Madam Speaker. I wouldn't have called him at that particular time. And the following day was a Monday. That is why I called him during the official working hours. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Honorable Senators, we still have a list I want to give to Senator Sifuna, but I want to request that if a question has already been answered, we don't repeat it again because you most likely will get the same answer. Senator Sifuna. Madam Speaker, at the beginning of this proceedings, there were certain admissions that were made by uh, the counsel for the Deputy Governor. Uh, most important of which was that, yes, they accept money was received, but it was not for the purposes stated by the prosecution, but, but that it was for repayment of a debt. 
Now, uh, Senior Counsel Katwa Kigen, at page 189, where we have excerpts of the answer of the proceedings before the county assembly, isn't it a fact that there was indeed another admission before the county assembly? Uh, you will see the question you put to him there, and did you talk to Lucy about that request about your friend, Mr. Joseph Misati? Isn't it uh, a fact, if the answer is to be believed, that in fact this question of whether the DG spoke to uh, the MD at Guasco on this request or not has already been made? Or is it your position, uh, as you have stated before, that the Hansard has been doctored? I thank you, Mr. Madam Speaker. Proceed, 